guys, welcome to another episode of Everyday Fifi. And you guys saw the heading, we are doing my Louis Vuitton collection. Some of these items are decades old, some are even older than that. And I have some recent pieces, some recent, re recent pieces. Okay guys, let's get this party started because we got quite a few items to go through. Some of these items go back, I mean, decades. And then I have some pieces, like I said, that I recently got. So let's start with the outfit of the day. Today I have on to sort of align with the Louis Vuitton vibe, I have on brown. If you know, you know, brown is the primary color that Louis Vuitton uses a lot. So this little warm up suit, little jogging suit, I got it from Zara and I have on my Louis Vuitton earrings. I have on my little Louis Vuitton charm bracelet. And this necklace is not Louis Vuitton, but it's Louis Vuitton-ish. So I'm rocking it. My lip color is brown, aligning with where we're going here today. And for my scent of the day, I have on the Rose de Ventus by who? Louis Vuitton. So since I'm being Louis Vuitton Dawn today, not Dawn, but Dawn, because I'm a girl, Let's get started. So I'm gonna try to do this chronologically, but I may kind of mess up a little bit, but how would you know? So one of the first Louis Vuittons that I bought, let me give you a little history on Louis Vuitton as far as I'm concerned. I remember back in the 80s, I was in high school from 1979 to 1983, and Louis Vuitton, Gucci was kind of out a little bit, but Louis Vuitton wasn't super big at that time. If it was, I didn't know. And a friend of mine, her mom had this big Louis Vuitton, what is considered the speedy bag. And I always remember that when I would go over her house, I remember her mom had that bag and I always had an eye for fashion. And I remember thinking, that's a cool bag. So I was talking to my friend the other day and she said, yeah, when they went to France for their um, field trip, the, the French club field trip, her mom told her to bring her back a Louis Vuitton. So she bought back this big Louis Vuitton speedy bag. And this was obviously 40 some odd years ago. And my friend still has that bag. So how cool is that? So from what I recall, I may be wrong. Um, what I recall, my first Louis Vuitton is this bag here. And this is just a nice little shoulder bag with the LV print. And, and, and this is this bag is over 20 plus years old. So when I show you the more recent stuff, you're gonna see what I mean. If you know Louis Vuitton, you know they don't change much. So this is the inside of the bag, the tan leather, the more like a cognac color leather and suede on the inside, one flat pocket on the inside. And I've had this bag so long, but it is in great shape. I mean, there's a little scuff here, but other than that, this bag is in great shape. It's a good little shoulder bag. And do I still carry this? Absolutely. Next up, I have this little check holder. Now I'm going in chronological order, so that's why I'm showing you a check holder because I don't really use checks anymore. But um, I remember purchasing this and that bag too that I just showed you. If you recall Marshall Fields back in the day in the Chicago area, they carried Louis Vuitton. So Marshall Fields is now gone. It was sort of replaced with Macy's and Macy's ain't carrying no Louis Vuitton. So back in the day, I remember purchasing um, this little check holder, it's in the Damier print. I think I'm saying that right, the, the, the uh, squares. And on the inside just has the pockets and the check, the back of the check packet would go here and the checks would sort of hang over. I don't carry this anymore, but I keep it down in my kitchen where some of my, I have a, a junk drawer. I keep this in my junk drawer because every blue moon, I may need a check to pay electronically so you you know you get the routing numbers and all that crap off of um the bottom of the check. So I just keep this in the kitchen, you know, just in case I have to do an electronic payment. Next up, I got a big one and a big mess. I showed this to you guys about maybe two months ago. This Louis Vuitton duffel, I bought this from Marshall Fields in Chicago years ago. And honey, right now, if you go and try to buy one of these brand new, you're going to spend probably two to 
I remember purchasing this back in the day, probably in the um, probably late 90s. And I promise you, I didn't spend no more than maybe $600. This is the um, typical LB print. And it's a mess. This bag, I don't blame Louis Vuitton. I'm blaming me. I just didn't take care of it well because I didn't carry it that much. But if you saw my other videos, you'll know that this bag was left in a closet. And the closet was right over my furnace. So that closet is just toasty. I mean, it's super comfortable in there. But it was a little bit too comfortable for this bag. And the leather, which is not treated, it dry rotted. So when I went in to start trying to use this bag just to clean it up and have it around, honey, this leather peeled, it, it crumbled like a cookie. The strap came loose. Um, other than that, this area is the only area that is damaged, but then I messed it up because I tried to put some uh, leather conditioner on the um, cowhide here and it damaged it because it's not treated. It just absorbed all of the product I put on and it just totally ruined this bag. So I took it to Louis Vuitton to try to get it fixed and they wanted to charge me $1,400 and I wanted to tell them, <laughs> hell no. So I left and I'm going to take it somewhere else. A couple of people told me a couple of places I can take it where they can fix it for a lot less. So this is my Louis Vuitton duffel. I'm not sure what size it is. And I didn't always use this a lot because it's not very flexible. I have a Prada nylon bag that I use way more when I travel because it's it's more flexible and I can get more in it. This is more structured and you can only get so much in it. But I do want to get it fixed because, hey, I want to use it. This is vintage, baby. And it's so vintage-y that it's toe up. Louis Vuitton duffel. Next up, I'm getting a little off here, but I have a gem. I have a gem. As in classic, never selling. Um, yeah, that girl. I have the Louis Vuitton uh, multicolor Speedy. And let me give you a little story behind this. From what I recall, I think I bought this from Marshall Fields. Again, there was a period where all of a sudden I was buying a lot of Louis Vuitton. I would say within a year or 18 months, I purchased all these items. Now this bag used to be the it bag back in probably the early 2000s. And it was hard to get, and I'm the type that when something's hard to get, now I want it even more. So, um, yeah, that's that's the story of my love life. <laughs> anyway, so this bag, uh, back in the day, was carried by Jennifer Lopez. I mean, Paris Hilton, all the it girls were carrying this. So what I did was I got on the waiting list at Marshall Fields. And when they called and they were like, yeah, the bag is in, I was like, do I still want it? I, you know, it had been a while. I didn't even know if I still wanted it or not. But obviously I did and I went and grabbed it. So Louis Vuitton, this is the bag, in my opinion, that kind of kicked them up. Now, I'm not trying to say that Louis Vuitton wasn't that company, that wasn't that brand. I'm not trying to say that. They've always kind of been that brand. But it's like their popularity kind of was bolstered by this bag. Because as you can see, they were doing the brown and then maybe the Damier print. But this here kicked the door in. This is a beautiful bag. It has the brass um, uh, caps on the end to keep it from getting damaged. The good cowhide leather. The only thing that happened, and I don't understand why, was this pocket right here, it discolored a little bit. And I tried to get it uh, cleaned, and for some reason, it, it just wouldn't come clean. That ain't good, Louis Vuitton. But it has the um, brass lock, the pockets, on the inside, it has like this deep burgundy. It almost remind, reminds me of, um, this bag reminds me of a uh, red velvet cake because it's sort of the white icing. And on the inside, it has the burgundy velvet. So this bag, I actually still carry this. So the other bag, I do carry one of the other ones. I don't use the check holder. The duffel bag is toe up, but I do still carry this bag. And I think when Louis Vuitton hooked up with Marc Jacobs and then the Japanese artist who created the, the vibe on this bag, that's when I felt like they took their um, brand to another level. People were always buying Louis Vuitton, but they became super, super popular, more mainstream with pop culture, so to say, when they hooked up with Marc Jacobs and when they hooked up with uh, the Japanese artist that created it. 
So this bag here, I almost sold it on the Real Real about four or five years ago. I took it down to the Real Real in Chicago and I looked at it and I was like, if you don't put that bag back in your bag and take her home, you're not selling her. And I didn't sell her and never will. So Louis Vuitton Speedy in the multicolor. And I cannot think of the Japanese artist name. If I get it, I'll post it below. So next up, I'm a little confused here. I don't remember exactly when I bought who and where and why, but okay. This bag here, this is the Damier. And this is not quite an Alma bag, but it's kind of shaped like the Alma bag a little bit. This bag I purchased later on after I grabbed the, um, the Speedy. And this is just a very conservative top handle. On the inside, it has the red suede. It's a little oranger than the um, Speedy. And there's a pocket inside. And I actually gave this to a friend of mine. And for some reason, she gave it back. I don't remember how this bag came back into the picture. But now that I have it back, I kind of appreciate it a little more. I like it a lot. And I used it. I actually used this maybe two weeks ago just to bum around a little bit. But yep, this is not the Alma bag, but it's like the Alma bag. And this was purchased, hmm, I don't know, sometimes in the 2000s. Then after that, I have, oh, see, there's some bags that I purchased when I was between jobs. When I got laid off from AT&T and right before I started the job I just retired from, I had like a three month period where I, when I was off work and for some reason I was buying a lot of Louis Vuitton. I don't know why a person with no job would be doing that, but that's what I was doing. So I know those bags, but there's another one. I'm trying to think what order. All right, let's get to the unemployment Louis Vuitton bags. And then there was an unemployment Chanel bag that was purchased too, um, but we're not talking about Chanel. So this bag here, this is another one. I didn't even think about selling this. I knew I was never gonna sell this. This is the coolest bag ever. It's the denim Louis Vuitton little shoulder bag. I love this bag, love it, love it, love it. It's so cute and I'm telling you, uh, this bag and this girl right here, if I sell these now, ka -ching, but I'm not. These will have to be pried from my cold, dead hands. I'm hanging on to all my bags now. So this little bag, it has the denim, the denim lining on the inside, and it sort of has sort of a mustard color gold suede on the inside. There's a little pocket. I love this bag, but let me tell you, this bag, for some reason, it has a little hole in it. Not good, Louis Vuitton. And I'm telling you, these bags now, the prices are like double, if not double and a half, what I pay. And that's why I always tell people, if you see something you like and you got the coins, go buy it, because they're gonna, the, the prices are gonna keep going up on these bags. But yes, this is one of my favorite bags, the little denim Louis Vuitton, little shoulder bag. This is definitely given um, early 2000s, R&B music, hip hop, Biggie Small. What well, Biggie died in the 90s, I'm sorry. But it's, 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 it's given. It's given black culture, hip hop, pretty girl vibes. And it was my unemployment bag. And then next, I have uh, another bag that was uh, doing the unemployment vibe. I bought two. I gave my niece one, and then I ended up keeping this one. The one I bought, I had and I gave to my niece was this Damier in this beige and navy pattern, but it was a speedy. But I gave that to my niece, and I, um, you know, it's gone. But this bag here, I don't know the exact name of it, but I love this bag too. This is great for the summertime. It has the uh, thick leather, the brass accessories, and not too big. I don't like a bag too big anymore. I don't really like giant bags because I'm not that tall, I'm not that big, and I don't wanna feel like I'm being swallowed by a handbag. So I usually try to get medium-sized bags. So this bag, 
I do not carry that much, but I love her. It's so classy. It's so girly, girly, you know, with the brighter colors than the brown. And it's just that slick back ponytail chick with the big hoop earrings and the fly bag, a little bit of MAC lip gloss. Yeah, definitely that vibe. So this is the Damier print and I don't know the name of it. <laughs> if you want to know the name of any of them, let me know below and I'll look them up. And then I bought, I think I'm going a little bit out of order. Now this bag I got from The Real Real. I buy items off The Real Real because my thing is if you're a person that worries about if someone knows that you bought it new or off The Real Real, my thing is why are you worried about that one and two, how are they going to know? So um, all the bags I've showed you, I have purchased, well, so far, I've purchased brand new except for this one. Then there's another one that I purchased off The Real Real. Uh, yeah, so this bag I got off the real real. I'm not exactly sure when, but this is a cute bag. This is like a, almost like a bowling bag a little bit. And when I tell you, didn't spend that much money on. I'm telling you, um, the sales were out there. The Louis Vuitton, they 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 like blew up. Then they kind of died down just a hair in I'll say the popular sector. And that's when you can slide in and get the good bags. Those days are over. And I'm glad that I grabbed the bags I did. So this little, uh, sort of like a bowling bag, has the front pocket. And like I said, I didn't spend that much on this bag. And the inside, I haven't carried this in a while. This is a good bag. Ugh, what is all this? Yep, this bag is great. It has all kinds of pockets. It has elastic straps in here. I don't know what you would hold there. And I remember in the mid 2000s when I first started my job that I just retired from, I used to carry this bag all the time. And no, you couldn't tell me nothing. You couldn't tell me I wasn't fly. Still can't tell me I ain't fly. <laughs> so, yep, I got this off the real real. Name tag, good bag. And I think I might pull this out and carry this just to remind myself of how fly we can be. Now, the next bag is a bag that everybody in their mama got. If you're gonna have Louis Vuitton, everybody in their mama got a what? A Neverfull. I decided to get the Neverfull in the Damier pattern. And of course, if you know, this bag comes with a detachable pouch. I gave my pouch to my friend Karen, so because I wasn't using it. Um, yeah, but the Damier, this is the big giant tote. And mine, I haven't carried this in so long that it was in the closet all squished up and I do not appreciate me doing that. So I'm gonna pull this out. I need to find somewhere to keep my handbags because, how much is this? Wow, see this was 1260. You go try to buy this now. <laughs> You ain't spending 12 .60. But anyway, this bag, um, I need to find a better place to keep my bags. They're in an okay place, but they're starting to get squished up. A couple of my bags, the, the newer ones that I bought, they're not even in the closet. They're just kind of sitting places because I don't want them to get squished up. So I need to find a better way to store my bags. But of course, everybody has this bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Damier Never Full Tote. And if we're going chronologically, let me pull in this item here that I got off the real real. And I got a little suitcase. I got this suitcase. Um, I remember I was sitting in a meeting at work. It was an all hands meeting. That's the meeting where everybody from all the different regions are all there. And, um, you know, the managers and the vice president and stuff, they give their little spiel. And we're all sitting out there smiling and eating and and ordering stuff off the real real. So I ordered, <laughs> paying attention much, right? I ordered this uh, suitcase from the real real. It is pretty nice, pretty structured. It has a couple um, departments to put your undies, your undergarments. Then there's a, another zip to put some more things. Um, I think you put stuff in here and you just kind of use the Velcro to close it up. And it had a cover to go with it. 
and I'm not sure what happened to it. That's not like me to lose stuff. I don't know where that cover went. But yeah, I grabbed this off the real real. It was a steal and it was in really good shape. The real real and a lot of these other sites when you buy stuff off of there, they'll tell you the condition. It'll say pristine, which is the best, excellent, good, fair, and they don't go below fair. If it's bad, they're not buying it. Um, and this one was, I, from what I recall, it was listed in good condition. And when it showed up, she was in good condition. Some of the wear and tear that's on it now is what I did to it. So I use this if I'm taking a short trip and I usually take mostly short trips. But uh, yeah, this is the cutest little suitcase ever. Held up pretty good. Didn't have to get the wheels replaced or anything. Um, yeah, Louis Vuitton little suitcase. Roll away, girl. All right, so my last couple items, I call these my pandemic vibes because during the pandemic, we ain't had nothing else better to do but, you know, buy shit, right? So um, these are my more recent purchases and this bag, you've seen it before. It's just a little crossbody. What is this on here? Mashed potatoes? All right, so we got my black crossbody, and I think this is the only black Louis Vuitton I have. Okay. I wanted to get the uh, monochromatic, which is this vibe. I wanted to get a Neverfull that was all black like this. I wanted to get this in the all black, but it was too much. It was too much. So I ain't getting it. But yeah, I love this um, pouch. It has the two uh, sections and there's a little section in here where you can drop things if you need to. I love the fact that I only have one phone now. Now that I'm retired, I only have one phone. And I would always struggle with getting both of my phones and keys and bags. And it just feels so good to have one phone. I slip that in and I'm good. This has a chain uh, crossbody, or you can do you know just one shoulder. And I purchased um, an extra leather strap to go with it that I find that I never use. I don't even know why I bought this. But yep, this is Louis Vuitton crossbody pouch. What are they calling this? This is the double zip something. So if, like I said, if you ever, any of you all wanna know um, the particular names of the bags, I'll list them below upon request. And then next up, I love this little item in here. This is one of my favorites. And it is the Louis Vuitton, what are they calling this? I think it was called the Felicia. It was almost like my name. That's why I like it. I'm gonna look up the name of this one in particular because I kind of dug the name. I think I am. Where's that name? The Felici Strap and Go. The Fifi Strap and Go. So this bag, super cute. And what I love about this bag is I didn't see a lot of people carry it. But this army, sort of the army green strap with the little coin purse attached. And this little purse here that did fit my phone. I could actually get both of my phones in here when I was carrying it. Too cute, love it. It's the crossbody vibes. I love the, the sort of uh, khaki green. I love this bag. This was good for the summer. Went with everything. One of my favorites. And I, are we done? Oh, oh, I have one other small purchase that I just got. I treated myself when I retired. I treated myself when I retired to a bunch of stuff and girlfriend needs to sit down before I end up in um, bankruptcy court. Just kidding. I am very responsible with my money. All right, so my last and most recent purchase was this little agenda. And the reason why I got this, I guess you would call this an organizer or a, a tiny agenda. The reason why I got this is because I've entered this new point in my life. Um, I just wanted something to just help me keep track of the new things that I'm going to be doing and put my thoughts in here about some things that I want to do. So I got this little cute agenda with a little snap and it has 
you know, the cards. I have my business cards here. I went and got some business cards made because I do networking sometimes. And by me not having a job, I can't give them their card because I don't work there anymore. So I just went and got some little business cards made with my LLC. I have a business that I'm looking to develop um, that's going to focus on, you know, contract work, maybe for construction projects, utility projects. So I just created a little LLC. So when I'm networking with people, I can just hit them with the card. That's old school, but some people appreciate that. We always do. Well, here, just take my number, put it in there. Well, cards will probably always be um, the way to go. So I just created these cards and I didn't mean to do it, but I ended up doing it in the Louis Vuitton brown. And the color I use is sort of the, the color that they use um, for their trim. Didn't mean to do it, just worked out that way. So I keep my little business cards here. Um, it has the, you know, notebook paper. And I have my Cartier pen that I purchased a couple of years ago. It fits perfectly into the little slot. And there's pockets, you know, to keep little notepads. Got a little money there. And you zip her up and I throw her in my other bag and we hit the road and I'm done. I covered everything, right? I think I got them all. So let me know what you think of my collection. Let me know what you have below and let me know if there's any particular bag that you wanted to know which one it really was and I can actually look it up and get that information listed down below. So once again, you guys like and subscribe and tell your friends to come on over here, like and subscribe and give me some comments below. Thank you so much for checking out Everyday Pee Pee and thank you for checking out my Louis Vuitton collection. Hopefully we will be buying more because I'm telling you that Pharrell for, for Williams, his, he's a creative director over there, fire. But it costs so much that I probably won't get anything. Very unlikely that I will.